Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another Let's Play, this time of Breath Edge. This is a game that I've been looking at for a while now, and I'm excited because it just came out of early access, and I kind of wanted to wait and play it like in its totality. The finished project. Oh no! No, what? To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. I you deserve some words of encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Okay. Well, let's start with the antenna first, I guess. Call. Try to adjust the antenna. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Okay, that didn't work. There goes the, the antenna. Vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Oh. What's that? No, 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 no. Take that. What is it? Ooh. Nutrition goo. Uh, I'm running out of air really quickly. So there's little things float. Oh, okay. There you go. Ice. Nice. Okay. Very good. Where was... There we go. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. The sensors report the presence of some nearby cooling gel. Its microscopic particles can settle on the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. This guy talks a lot. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking. Ah, very good. Okay, see? We're getting somewhere. We found some metal. Oh, here we go. Oh, I just need some wire. Um, wire. So there's probably some wire out in space, yeah? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? That's been sitting there this whole time? What does that do? Okay, I don't know what to do with this yet, or how this benefits me, but I found something, so I'm on it. The handle is there. Ah, <laughs> she's pointing at the hand. That's so stupid. That's going inside. I'm taking that. Oh my god, we got it. We got a wire. We got a wire. We got a wire. 
Oh, thank God. We are in business. The most sophisticated professional equipment for distributing streaming information with... Oh, okay, sure. I didn't need to finish reading that. Okay. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. So I was supposed to make a thing that looks like a debugger, and I got, like, a club. <laughs> okay. Let's go check this out. Debug. Booyah. A rescue shuttle Hope has been sent from the nearest evacuation point due to the slight amount of time. Exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some craft imposed by the developers. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Create the crap imposed by the developers and put it in your hand. Okay. Um, like this. Hell yeah. Durability 35. All right. So now we're getting somewhere. Now I can smack some stuff. Like this thing. See, we got a battery. Booyah. All right. We are getting somewhere, yo. Batteries are good. I need to increase my oxygen because exploration is incredibly limited in the early stages of this game. Oh, here we go. Crap imposed by the developers. I need two refined metal and thick electrical tape. My name is Babe. I'm very beautiful. You save me, I beg. I am completely alone. Take off your helmet. You may hear me cry. Hurry. And it's just a picture of her cleavage. Okay, so we need to find rubber and... There's metal everywhere. That That's easy enough. We, we need to find... Oh, oh, there was rubber over here. Ah, uh, remembering things. Yeah. 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 I really enjoy the physics of just floating around. That's fun. Ah, oh, we need shears. Okay. So, unless we can find some random rubber, we're going to need to find some shears. Let's see what's in the container, yeah? Oh my god, we got the blueprint for shears. Baller. Alright, equipment. Tools. Shears. Look at us. Look at us go. We are crushing it. Um, My inventory is getting pretty full though. So I need to... Drop that. I have a lot of damn batteries, too. I feel like we don't need all these batteries. <laughs> uh, or cigarettes, for that matter. I was just picking up stuff in the beginning because I was like, oh, maybe you can use it to craft something. You know what I mean? All right. We got shears, baby. Rubber. Booyah, yo. Look at all this rubber we have now. It's like too much rubber. Okay, so we need to... Make a thick electrical tape. Booyah. And then I need to... Make a scrap... Oh my god, we can make the drill now. Is that what I was working on making this whole time and I just wasn't paying attention? I don't feel like it was. I feel like I was working on making something else, but...
Uh, yeah, the the crap the imp imposed by the developers is what I was making. Okay, well here it is. I built it. Awesome. Anyway. Uh, so I need more thick electrical tape, which I think I have enough to... Yeah, there we go. Booyah, let's make a fucking drill. Are you kidding me? Able to make holes in things that shouldn't have holes. Thanks, game. I don't know what to do with it, but... Okay, so get to the evacuation point is our current objective. Okay, well, we need a scanner, so let's figure out. Maybe we have the blueprints right now. I wasn't really paying attention, I'm not going to lie, so let's go see if we can't figure that out. Okay, so we just need a light bulb. Fuck, where are we going to find a light bulb, bro? Up there. <laughs> you, give me your bulb. Okay. So we need a light bulb for the scanner. There's a lot of um, tape recorders in Spain. <laughs> Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject hey. died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Yeah. The hammer covered in blood. The victim is also stained in blood. Probably the hammer accidentally got stained by the victim. It is unlikely that he suffocated from this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Oh, and there were scissors in his crotch. Okay. This dude, God. Very screwed up. Oh, see that? An unknown substance with a suspicious name. He was drugged and brutally murdered. Where's my ship? But hey, that very weird sex scene found me a bulb. So we are in business. Scanner. So we are just moving along. Okay, so next up on the list is equipment. I would like better shit. And that's going to require aluminum and lead and glass. I don't really know of anything else. Oh, I can make this now from batteries and metal. Interesting. I didn't realize that. <sighs> Scanner. Oh, I want to scan this plant. See? That's how you get blueprints, baby. Booyah. There can be no mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. You must carefully remove the station by removing two. <laughs> anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. And a light taste of despair. Okay. Oh, we can breathe in here too. That's nice. Neutralize. Oh, oh. Okay. I mean, I felt like I could, like, pretty thoroughly search in here since there's an oxygen source, you know? But yeah, there we go. Okay. So we definitely need to figure out how to make that because increasing the range of flight is obviously super important. Our lack of uh, breath is pretty lame there we go oh my god I can literally just make it I have everything I need already get out of here bro generally it's an ounce it's an inside out battery with a rather complicated pattern of electrical tape all of this is to fit into a fancy case and it has a fancy name you can be proud of this and shove it into oxygen stations 
Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. So, if there's a place uh, that has an oxygen station, I can shove that in there and it will make that station work, extending my available range because. Uh, oh. I received a signal from Normandy. Did you get it too? I think there's some kind of a trap. You mustn't fly there. Uh, maybe these are survivors luring other survivors to eat them. No, oh, that's... Okay, I don't think I need these pills. Let's add it to the pile of crap I picked up for no reason. Ha ha. All right. I'm going to try one more outing. Let's try to find a place we haven't gone to yet. One more outing for the day. There's got to be something of use somewhere. This looks interesting. Let's check it out. Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. Yeah. Oh, we can scan this. Uh, we don't need any beer. Mortal Wombat. <laughs> I'm taking Careful. that. Games provoke cruelty because according to statistics, most criminals played them at least once. All criminals drink water, blinked, and used toilet paper, which makes it possible to draw an unequivocal conclusion about your criminal inclinations. That's true. Um, hmm. I feel like there's something over here, but I'm on my last oxygen candle, so I'm probably going to die. Also, radiation is dramatically increasing. There should have been a joke about fat people here, but it didn't fit into the screen sex field. Yeah, I'm 100% going to die because I don't have any way to get oxygen that I know of. I regret my decision. Oh my god, we're still so far away. See, here's the thing, though. The the place where I got the oxygen thing from. Oh, let's not die first, and then we'll talk about this. Okay, so we got a first aid kit. That's good. It requires alcohol. Uh, finally, a use for the alcohol I've been carrying around. Very cool. And then I have a lot of batteries, so I'm going to make some of these. And there's a ton of those um, like tape recorders and stuff floating around. So I could definitely make way more of these need to be. So when I try to connect to this point, signals not pass. A very strange place. Most likely dead. You need to find out what's there. Oh, she's, like, highlighting stuff for me. What did she just highlight for me? Is there a new new icon somewhere? Oh, so what I was going to say is there was an icon over there for the oxygen thing, but once I completed the oxygen, like, task, um, it the icon went away. Which is why I'm still like, why is there a handcuff icon? Like, did I miss something? I got the light bulb, which is what I assumed it was taking. But, like, over here, there was an oxygen icon. And then once I got that, it went away. Oh, here we go. She gave me an icon for over here. There's a signal icon and then what looks like a food icon. The food icon's close enough that I can actually get to it with some oxygen things. So, let's... Since she's giving us random... Like waypoints. I'm going to make this food looking icon the place to wrap up for today. So here's what I want from you guys. Please comment below and let me know what you think of this game. Obviously, on this channel, like the some of the biggest things that I'm into in terms of gaming and what I like to play for you is survival games. I'm really big into survival games and any chance I get to play a survival game, I'm on board. And then space games. And this is a space survival game. <laughs> so, we were literally just here. He was trying to get his swarm. Look at him. 
He's like, no, my shawarma. Okay, well, we're here, so let's look around a little bit more besides the swarma. Oh, shit. Air, 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 air. Uh, what's this? What are you? Alcohol. I'll take it. Um... Because, see, like, I don't, like, why is there... It's going to bug the shit out of me that there is a icon to still go there, you know? Did I just get a shit ton of oxygen candles? Hell yes. Let's go. I'm going to break all these containers. Okay. Screw you up. Screw you up. Some batteries. Hell yes. Oxygen. Tons of water. And there's still a couple containers there, but we are out of our smashy smashy tool. So so we have that, which I'm guessing oh god. I'm guessing that's why the game gave us like an S ton of oxygen and stuff like that for free just then. So that we could progress to a farther spot. So we're definitely going to do that. We're gonna go look into that in the next episode. So like I said, comment below, let me know what you guys think. If you're enjoying the series, um, so far, it's not really a series because it's one episode, but, <laughs> but let me know if you're enjoying it because I'm enjoying it. This is really interesting. Um, the floatiness is really good. You know, you can bump into stuff and it's going to... Boop. And it's just going to go spiraling away, never to be seen again. And, like, I, I like that. Um... You know, there's some pretty good humor in the game, which I enjoy. The game's not taking itself too seriously. Um, which, you know, I think really, you know, some some game, I mean, some things you want, you know, to be taken seriously. Oh, my God. I need one more metal, and I broke my bangy tool. No way. You know, I have to find a random piece of metal, guys. Oh, my God. We screwed that up big time. Screw that up big time. No way. I should have been paying more attention to... I actually thought of that at one point. I was remembering the game Raft. And how, like, I could be concerned about, like... My hook breaking without having the materials needed to make a hook. And how that can be really annoying. And I was like, I need to make sure that doesn't happen in this game. And then I let it happen. Problem fixed, though. So, yeah. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and if you'd like to see more of these. Uh, I'm not going to get ahead of myself in this one. Like I did in No Man's Sky. Where I was like playing the game way too much. And recorded like way ahead of everything. Uh, I'm not going to record the second episode. Until this one posts. Because I really want to know what you guys think. So let me know. Okay. Later guys. <laughs>